Hey guys, uh, today I will be showing you how to access your cloud panel uh, using a domain name instead uh, an IP and a port. It is um, not actually efficient to use this IP address to access cloud panel. Um, so I'm actually using um, Contabo Cloud VPS. It has 4 cores and 8 gigabyte of memory. And of course, it is running an Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Okay, let's get started. Uh, in your cloud panel dashboard, you should go to admin area, go to settings. Here we are on our um, cloud panel custom domain. Uh, first things first, you have uh, should have already a DNS record pointing to your um, server uh, through this address. In my case, I have um, Namecheap. Uh, let's go to Namecheap first. Okay, now I am on my uh, Namecheap, and I have already pointed um, the, the DNS uh, to this IP address, so it is safe to add um, a custom domain to access your cloud panel. So be sure you have. Um, and then www and a www so let's add um me so let's add a domain name i'm using this domain okay this one okay just click save and be sure this domain name is not added on your um cloud panel this is only reserved for your cloud panel if you have already added um this domain to your uh wordpress website on cloud panel you cannot use this one as this will just redirect to the login page of cloud panel let me show you okay great uh, now we are we are using um, our domain to access our cloud panel, and be sure this domain is not added on your cloud panel because this domain is just intended to access your cloud panel. So if you have already added this domain, for instance, you just use a subdomain. For instance, control this one, and be sure to add this um subdomain to your um reg uh, domain register pointed to this ip address uh let's try to point this one out let's go to our um name sheet okay let's add an a record first or non ww oh sorry that will be control and this one let's just copy Click save. Add another A record. That will be a double double dot control IP address. Let's copy this one and save. Okay, this is actually um a, a subdomain. So just wait for the for to forty eight hours to propagate. Now we'll, we'll access this one. Okay, now we are finally using a subdomain um, instead of the root domain. So this one wor works if you have um, used this for your other project. For instance, you have added this in Cloud Panel. You can use a subdomain so that's it um i hope you learned something and if you have any questions just um comment them down below and i try to answer them uh, so thank you for watching be sure to subscribe and like this video and i'll see you soon